All right, so pick up my daughter from school, took her to the boys and girls, heading home. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I want you guys to look and you'll see further up, you'll see the red theme. But I want you to see how it's no longer synchronized, right? Okay, so you see? Red, red, red across the street, another one, red, another red pants, a red person again crossing on the other side. All right, so you have a sea of dark colors and then you have red, a bright color red or even a, a muted color red mix in but it's no longer uh, synchronized right so and I talk about recognizing the synchronization and the patterns that's what I'm talking about so right now like I said it's not synced all right so it is the uh, execution of time and space you're surrounding your environment Right? And being able to use it in such a way. Uh, again, it's not like I said, when you, whenever you start to show, they start to show themselves so frequently around me. Just to let you know. See, I uploaded my video and I knew that they wasn't going to uh, engage in such. All right, speak, spoke too soon. Red hat, red over there. Red. Brought the street, red. See that? All right, okay, <laughs> up there. Psychological use of color, psychological color theory. And it's because I know this, this is why I'm able to do what I do in a matter, you know, and I, I'm gonna have to do a refresh of that too because I did a video on that before. Right. And how uh, colors can be used to not only affect your emotions, but also to convey certain messages, right? So there's a reason why certain colors are used in certain signs. Okay? There's a, there's a, there's a reason why fire trucks are painted red. You know, there's a reason why stop signs are painted red. There's a reason why uh, uh, yield signs are painted yellow, right? It's, and a whole host of other things, right? Right, because they un they understand how color affect our emotions, right? And again, that's how they use. Like for example, when you're angry, right? Your face or you're blushing, right? Or you're you're embarrassed, your face turn, your cheeks turn red. Okay? When you're angry, you know, particularly for white person, you're angry, you see how their fa whole face turn red, right? But as black people, we have a red undertone, so, we, you know, you can't really see that much. When the darker you are, you're not gonna be able to see it, but that's what I'm talking about. So sometimes they use the color red to try to invoke uh, anger, right? <laughs> so that's why you gotta smile, because they hate it when you smile. When you when you when you smile when, you, when we are smiling, they don't like it. <laughs> We're smiling. So right now I'm smiling. Okay. Right now I am smiling. Oh, don't put your head down. Put your head up, girl. Don't don't feel ashamed. Stop doing it. Yeah. See, I, in your TI, just walk around smiling, and you're gonna see how they're going. They their their smile's gonna turn to frown. All right, and that will show you that they mean you no good. All right? They're not smiling back at you, and when they see you smiling, all of a sudden they have a frown, and when they uh, emotionally psychologically traumatize you and they're smiling and laughing yeah so recognize these things 
understand these things, right? Particularly when you know you got it. Particularly when you know that you've gathered enough proof or evidence to show what it is that they do. And I understand that those in power, they're gonna, you know, like I said, you know, they're gonna do the, they're gonna run the, you know, the mental illness team because that's what they do, All right? Particularly uh, those in the, the predator department across America, so-called police department, right? Ample evidence that they use psychiatric industry and, psych and psychological labeling to try and discredit Mr. Blowers. Um, you gotta just look at all these police officers who blew the whistle on corruption in the department. And, uh, you know, you'll see. So, like I said, I know they play a book all too well. I didn't study these past 15 years what they were doing to just have them continue to manipulate me, you know, in, in a way in which they've done before. Like I said, it will never happen again. All right? Talk to you guys in the next video.